Hi, I'm Kyle from The Funnel Company and today I'm going to be asking some of the frequently asked questions that we get about cladding, flooring, trims and all of our products. Yes, to a degree, bathroom cladding is insulating. It depends on the thickness, obviously there's a 5, 8, 10 millimetre. There's also the solid core range like the Berry Alloc here or Shower Wall or Keradeco. Um, any extra layer of something that you put on your walls is going to be insulated. Um, with it being hollow and, and holding air, it does actually, it, it is more insulated than tiles. Uh, obviously with its PVC construction as well, it's, it's much warmer to the touch anyway. Yes, you can install any of the panels on the ceiling except the shower panels and the, uh, the solid products uh, really. There's, um, we do have what we call the ceiling panel range which are mostly just white or white with silver or plain um, but any of the 5 or 8 mil 250 wide panels you can stick to the ceiling you can have a tile effect ceiling you can have a marble ceiling the world is your oyster um, the main difference is the size and the thickness um, when it comes to um, the, the main differences obviously what we class as a wall panel are normally 250 to 300 mil wide uh, and a shower panel is obviously the wider meter wide panels. All the shower panels are 10 millimeters thick so they're a little bit sturdier. Uh, they need to be a little bit thicker because of the size of them. If they were any thinner they would pretty much bend and collapse under their own weight so they are really sturdy. Um, but when it comes to sort of the hygienic um, side of things and the waterproof side of things all the panels are pretty much exactly the same. The 250 panels even though there's more joins the joins are still waterproof they're still tongue and groove they're still perfect to use in a shower next to a bath. Um, I mean, the main, the main reason you would choose the smaller panels over the larger panels is purely access. If you have a spiral staircase or tight access into the bathroom, or if it's just a really small bathroom, there's not much space to move, move things around. The smaller panels are easier to use uh, in a tight space. Easiest way to measure for wall panels, uh, luckily I'm stood in front of a wall. Um, the easiest way to me measure for wall panels is to just go left to right, up and down. Um, obviously you're going to have to know which panel you've chosen. As I say, the wall panels start at 250, they go sort of 300, 330, some even at 500. But essentially, as long as you know what size your panels are, you can work out how many you need for whichever wall you like or your ceiling and it's a piece of cake, I'll show you. So, for example, that measurement there is roughly 1.5 up to that line. So 1.5 meters or 1500 millimeters, divide that by, let's say we're going for this, they're 250 millimeters wide, 1500 divided by 250 is five. Uh, obviously, if you happen to be very lucky and live in a, a nice Edwardian house with incredibly high ceilings, you may need to check the length of the panels as well. Um, the standard size for uh, most of the 250 wide wall panels is 2.6 meters or 2.7 at a push. These ones come at 2.8, but that is to allow for this staggered effect. Um, so most modern built houses are going to have a a maximum height of about 2.4 meters so that the shower panels and the uh, wall panels will both work in that application if you do have uh, uh, ceilings higher than 2.6 or 2.7 you may need to think about uh, an end cap across the top or maybe a skirting at the bottom to make up for some of the height um, if you need any help with that obviously we're always here you can get us on uh, on Facebook you can get us on uh, Instagram TikTok Send us a question, obviously give us a call as well. If you need any help figuring out what trims you might need, what skirting you might need, how it's going to work for your ceiling if it's not quite long enough, someone will be able to help you. Uh, I've covered durability a bit already. Um, obviously we've got dip different thicknesses of panels. 99% of what we sell is an extruded PVC. And what that means is it's a hollow plastic panel, essentially. Um, five and eight mil, uh, the, the wall panels that are 250 wide to 500 wide, they do vary by brand. Some are quite tough, some are a little bit softer. Um, 
but uh, the 10 millimeter panels, the larger 1000 by 2.4 10 millimeter panels are very, very sturdy indeed. Uh, and obviously the solid core like the berry alloc or shower wall, they're pretty much impenetrable. If you're gonna be hanging um, uh, disability access bars or something off the walls and you're worried about uh, you know, drilling into it and all that sort of stuff, give us a call and we'll be able to advise you better uh, on what choices to make. Yes, much like anything that's manufactured these days, they are made in batches, specifically because there's so many different colours. I think we have around 80 or 85 different colours just of the shower panels alone. Um, there's no way we can just make all of those match at the same time. So they are made in factories, um, you know, Belgium, Poland, China, some are even made in the UK, um, and they are made in batches. They're made you know maybe a couple of hundred at a time maybe a couple of thousand at a time depending on what color and what style so it is very important to pay attention to the batch number on the box um, and the batch number on the packaging some of the the smaller panels even have it printed or etched onto the back of the panel it's really easy to make a note of that uh, should you need any more down the line um, you know if you're having something in storage for a while or if you've got a delay uh, if you come to fit it you need any extra we need to know that batch number because the shades do vary from batch to batch. Uh, you can get lucky and certain panels, certain prints, they don't really change. Um, but yeah, there are a million shades of white. So um, it's always best to make a note of your batch number just in case. Cleaning panels is really easy. Um, we recommend just soap and water really. The hygienic uh, layer, the final layer of, of the manufacturing process is what keeps it um, clean and hygienic and it is a very sensitive um, thin film layer so anything abrasive like a bleach or you know a Mr. Muscle or equivalent brand of cleaner that's that's fairly aggressive will uh, will actually damage that that surface and if cleaned too often with something like that you will wear through it fairly quickly so we, we say warm water, just normal dish soap, nothing too, nothing too uh, aggressive. Um, some of the gloss panels, I think you could probably even just get away with a squeegee, just you know, to avoid any watermarks. Um, if you follow us on TikTok, you'll know this answer already. Yes, you can install them over existing tiles. You can pretty much stick them to anything as long as you're using the right adhesive and you've prepared the surface properly. Um, silicon for going over existing tiles you could even stick them to glass if you wanted to or obviously you can stick it over previous cladding if you can't be bothered to take that off it does save a lot of time it does save a lot of mess um, anything uh, porous like plaster plasterboard even painted plasterboard is the uh, pink grip it does have to be a solvent free grab adhesive so if you're not getting the, the pink grip from us please just make sure that you've got solvent free uh, adhesive solvents and pvc don't make very good friends uh, your walls will look lovely for about a week and then they'll begin to melt so please 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 make sure you've got the right adhesive for that uh, finally you can stick them to bare brick if you if you are if you've taken everything back in your bathroom to bare brick if you've got nasty plaster and you can't afford to to get it re-skimmed or anything like that you can stick these to bare brick or concrete or something like that and for that we would recommend the maximum torque it is a very 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 strong grab adhesive um, and it will stick to anything um, check out the video on tiktok for that um, there will probably be also something on youtube about that as well um, but again any questions give us a call give us a comment on something and we'll uh, we'll be able to help you out obviously everybody wants to know if the panels are safe they are they they all every single product we sell comes with a class one fire rating which is the you know second highest rating you can get next to zero which is completely fireproof um if you if you understand how the fire ratings work it means that the product will obviously be affected by fire it's not completely fire resistant but it means that the it slows the spread of flame and fire and things like that it doesn't just explode yes all the panels are waterproof um, they all have a tongue and groove join um, what we recommend is 
where it's going to be under a constant volume of water right next to the shower, right next to the bath, is you put a bead of silicon in each join before you join them together. And that goes for the smaller panels like these or the larger panels. Um, that is just going to 100% make that join completely leak proof. Um, obviously the panels themselves, they are made of solid PVC, they're not going to absorb water. It just runs down the front back into the shower. And if you use the uh, clad seal trim along the bottom, you don't get any mold or grout either. Um, we do a variety of trims, um, end caps, internal corners, external corners, we have angles, um, various colours, PVC, aluminium, um, it depends on the situation. Um, here for example this would be an internal corner, uh, it's basically like a W shape so the panels slot into either side and then you get a reveal down the middle. Um, end caps anywhere where a panel is obviously coming to an end, you can also a lot of people refer to it as a starter cap, which is basically the same thing. Um, so if you're only going, say, halfway up a wall, put an end cap across the top, and that'll finish it off neat. Obviously, if you're only coming halfway across a wall, end cap on the end. Um, we also do covins and quadrants and scotias, and that's for finishing around the top of the ceiling there. Um, obviously, the clues in the name coving, really. Um, but check those out online. They're all available in 5, 8 and 10 millimetres um, to suit the panels. So obviously if you are putting an order in, make sure that you uh, select the right size. We do try and look out for that. There, there are a lot of mistakes made when ordering online, people ordering the wrong size trim for the you know, 5 mil trim for a 10 mil panel. We do try and catch those and let you know uh, and obviously send you the right size trims, etc. Um, but yeah, there's a, a drop down menu for the sizing, a drop down menu for the colours. Um, just make sure you're getting the right trim to suit your panel. And, Again, I know I keep saying this, but if you need any help sorting your trims out, if you don't quite know what you need, whether it's an internal or an external, what you're going to do, give us a call, send us an email with a sketch of the room. We can work out what trims you need, how many, and advise you on the colours, etc. Following on from the trim question, we know that not all rooms are built with a laser precision you might get an internal corner that's less than 90 degrees more than 90 degrees etc the pvc trims we sell do have a degree of flexibility obviously because they are pvc um, but we only sell 90 degree corners um, if you've got something you know f f far outside 90 degrees or far inside 90 degrees i'm afraid i don't like saying it but the only solution is the old fashioned way of the wet finger and the silicon, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, of course, we've got a massive range. It's all online. We do have showrooms, but we know not everyone can get to a showroom to actually see and feel and look at the panels. So we do offer free sample service online. You can uh, click on something that you like on the page. There is buy now and below that is order sample. You can add as many samples to your basket as you want. Your first four are free uh, with $1.99 shipping. Obviously as the weight increases the, the postage and packaging does increase. Um, we do advise that you order samples before you buy. Um, the gloss panels in particular are very very difficult to get a, 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 an actual decent picture of with the light reflecting off it and stuff like that. The, some of the images online can look very slightly different to the to the final finish so if you have got time if you've not got you know you're not in a rush you've not got a fitter coming the next day or whatever order samples see what you think see them in person check them out and um, then obviously you can order in confidence and you know what is going in your bathroom is going to be exactly what you want delivery times do vary it depends on the time of year depends on how busy we are obviously everything is manually picked and packed we love to have gantries and robots running around doing everything i'm sure amazon does but we are unfortunately a, still a small company with a small team and everything is manually handled and manually packed um, delivery times is anything between two and five working days um, we do have a fleet of our own vehicles we have um, around about 10, or 30, 10 to 12 vehicles on the road at any time. 
uh, delivering as far north as sort of Glasgow and Edinburgh, far south as, as London. Um, we try and obviously deliver as much as we can ourselves because our drivers are, you know, really particular with the panels, they've been trained how to handle the panels properly. Anything outside of our delivery area will go with a courier service. We make sure we wrap and pack and protect all the panels and trim as, as best as we can. Um, but normally delivery times between two and five working days. Um, bathroom furniture is an exception from that. Most of the bathroom furniture will be delivered directly from the supplier, uh, which unfortunately we don't have much control over, but they again are fairly quick, normally within a week. So, you are incredibly organised, your fit is not coming for a month, but you've just had your panel delivery, uh, how do you store them? They all need to be stored flat, they all need to be stored somewhere obviously fairly clean and dry, um, somewhere that they're not going to get in your way, you're not going to have to move them around too much and obviously risk damaging them. Um, in particular, the, the larger shower panels, they do need to be stored flat as they can uh, if they're you know, leaning up on an edge or on a corner or something like that, that can damage the join. The panels can warp over time. Um, so ideally, you do need to s somewhere to store them that's fairly flat. Um, and also, when it comes to actually taking them out and cutting them down or, or and fitting them, make sure that they are cut inside or in a garage or under some shade because they are PVC, not UPVC, so they don't have any um, UV protection. They should be kept out of direct sunlight at all times. Delivery is free of charge. If you place an order over £75, um, obviously we'll try and get that to you as fast as we can, either on one of our vans or with a courier. Um, if your order is under £75, there is a £15 shipping charge. Um, that's obviously just to cover fuel and costs if it's only a small order. But um, if you've placed a larger order and say you've forgotten a trim or you need an extra panel or something like that, every single person that places an order gets a free shipping code with their order confirmation. Um, so you follow up order, even if it's only a trim or a tube of adhesive, if it's under £75, because you've made that first order, we'll send you second order out for free. That's just something we offer. Uh, the returns policy is pretty much the same as you'd find anywhere else. You've got up to 30 days to return it should you change your mind. Um, we can arrange to collect the items. We understand obviously it's going to cost a lot to ship them back to us or obviously not everyone's got a, a van or a truck that they can return the order in. Um, we can arrange a collection or with either one of our drivers or um, the courier service. Uh, there is normally a, slight, a small charge for that, it's normally about 15-20% of the total order uh, just so we can recoup our, uh, our losses from that. But uh, yeah, obviously there's full details of the returns policy on the website. Uh, just scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll find it there under deliveries and returns. I think that about covers most of our most frequently asked questions. Obviously, if uh, there's something you want to ask and I haven't answered it in this video, there's a comment section below, you can give us a call, you can find us on TikTok, uh, Facebook and obviously uh, just call into any of our stores, all the staff will be happy to help and answer any questions you've got. Um, for more content like this, about cladding, about flooring, anything like that, I may even answer your question directly in a video, um, let us know, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment on any of the videos, and make sure to share them as well, cheers.